to hold people accountable. That was the motivation. After a six-week trial and seven days of deliberation, a jury found Northwest Tower Crane and Omega Morgan largely responsible for the April 2019 deadly crane collapse in Seattle's South Lake Union neighborhood. The jury awarding $150 million to some of the victims and their families. Nobody should ever go through that. So while it seems like a lot of money, not for what people went through. It wasn't. Attorney David Benninger says Northwest Tower Crane admitted it was at fault, but Omega Morgan refused to make changes, which is what brought this case to trial. What was the case that you put forth over these six weeks? So it, it had to do with the dismantle procedures for the tower crane. In October of 2019, the Department of Labor and Industries concluded the crane collapse was caused by companies not following the manufacturer's procedures. Boiled down to fairly simple was pins and winds. That's what caused this tower crane to collapse. And Omega was responsible for the winds. Northwest Tower was responsible for the pins. Four people were killed, including 19-year-old Sarah Wong, a student at Seattle Pacific University, and Alan Justad, a retired City of Seattle employee. The lawsuit was brought forth by the families. Both were in cars on Mercer Street when the crane fell from above. Benninger represents the Justad family. He fought to try to get out but he couldn't, and so he ended up perishing in his car along with uh, um, Sarah Wong. Just Ed's daughter said in a statement, in part, nothing can replace our beloved father or ease the unthinkable heartbreak that this preventable tragedy has caused our family and so many others. This verdict is a victory for accountability. But the message has now been sent that when your job affects the public, then your number one job is to protect the public. So that $150 million, it's going to be divvied up among 11 different people, including the two families, as well as the rideshare driver of the car that Sarah Wong was in, her friend who was in the car with her, as well as another woman who was injured. Uh, Benninger expects there to be an appeal in this case, but I do want to say tonight we heard out, we heard from Northwest Tower Crane Service. What they said is that it respects the verdict of the jury. They went on to say that the company changed its practices immediately after what happened. We have not heard a comment from Omega Morgan so far this evening. Live in Seattle tonight, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.